I've got another shellac burn video for you all. I know I think this will always be one of my favorite encaustic techniques, and so I do it a lot. And when you have a batch of freshly made shellac that's only a day old, it's really hard to resist working on a shellac burn painting. So uh, I've been inspired lately by some other artists that have been posting in a lot of my Facebook groups uh, their blue and gold art. And so I wanted to try some some blue and, and gold with a little black. I actually had to mix uh, one of my own colors this time. And I'm honestly, I'm not very good at mixing colors because I don't follow a recipe. I don't, uh, I just kind of wing it. And that's honestly not a good way to, to mix your colors. But it's fun. I, I enjoy doing it. And so that pale blue that I've added, that's one that I've mixed myself. It kind of takes a while because you have to you have to really mix it because the particles tend to just kind of collect at the bottom. So I'm trying to see if if this would allow me to build up some ridges and in instead of having just a completely smooth surface like like my shellac burn paintings usually end up as. And I'm scraping away a lot of wax, but I'm leaving that wax on the surface too. And honestly, it didn't really work. It didn't work the way I intended, but the, the carvings where I've carved away the wax, you can see how it opens up when I, when I fuse the surface, when I use my torch, it spreads out the color in those areas and adds a little bit more interest. So it didn't work the way I intended, but I kind of like the effect anyway. Though if I do it again, I won't carve all the way down to the wood because there were still some holes kind of left in the surface after I was completely done from where I had carved those lines that went all the way down to the wood. And I don't, I don't really like that look. So if I do this again, I'll, I'll try to be a little bit lighter with my hand and not carve all the way down to the wood. I'm sorry, one of my videos got corrupted, so I wasn't able to show you how I colored my shellac with dry pigments or how I added it to the surface here. I made a uh, white, blue, and gold shellac, and the gold I actually used Perlex powder, powders, so it's very metallic and shiny and just a fabulous color. I'm still trying to add a little bit of depth and some ridges to the surface of the painting, trying to make it so it's not just a smooth surface, which is why I'm trying to add just drips of wax. And then I'm not fusing it before I add the shellac. I'm fusing it as I'm burning the shellac to try and keep as much of those ridges, those raised ridges as I can. And that worked better than me trying to carve lines into the surface, as far as adding some texture and some height.
I really like doing multiple layers of shellac burns because when you use kind of opaque wax like I like I am, you can have it pigmented with color, but if you use just a little pigment, you can see through the wax to the layers beneath when you add it to the surface. And when you have multiple layers of shellac and wax that's that's opaque like that, you get a depth and you're able to see all those shellac layers beneath the wax, which is really hard to capture in photos. So you can't really tell on camera, but in person, it's it's a really cool effect. I absolutely am in love with the colors on this one. And when you have freshly made shellac, the burns and the cells that you get are just wonderful. And it's just so easy to do. I love this piece a lot. And I was able to get some, some raised ridges on the surface. So I'll definitely be doing those drips again, but not so much the carved lines. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.